Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Sunshine Coast. Delighted to be speaking with Stu Frizzell. Stu, how are you doing tonight? Excellent, I'm doing great. And now for the fans who may not be too familiar with your title, what are you doing in regards to this? Well, uh, I'm the uh, president of the Sunshine Coast Junior Hockey Society. So we're a non-profit uh, that has been formed uh, with the purpose of bringing junior hockey to Sunshine Coast. And how do you think the night's been going so far? Well, it's fantastic. I mean, we are uh, we're packed up. Uh, we are uh, very close to 600 people in here tonight. And uh, the show is, uh, that the boys are putting on on the ice is uh, spectacular. Who came up with the idea of potentially expanding the PGHL to the Sunshine Coast? Well, I'll tell you about uh, in 2016, uh, we hosted the Visit A Provincial Championships in this building and uh, this place was packed and it was evident at that point that, that there was a real hunger for a high level of hockey to be seen here and uh and uh, since then it's been a story that has been retold over and over again we need to get junior hockey on the coast a lot of work has been put into the P from the pghl and from the organization that you are involved in how much work has truly gone in behind the scenes to make this happen well, there's a, there, there's a whole bunch of uh, cooperation that needs to happen between the local business, the facility, and, uh, and, and, and our organization, the volunteer groups, just to even pull off a, uh, an event like this. Um, but what we're after is doing this on a regular basis. You know, we want to we wanna have this happening uh, throughout the winter up here. And so, uh, yeah, we've been, we've been active and uh, working with the, with the uh, league on uh, on ironing out the details and uh, we're really really excited about the idea of having uh, having more of these games up here how has the communication gone with the league has it been going pretty well between the two of you guys in order to put this together yeah we we got uh we actually went uh in front of the league and uh, met with the uh all of the governors uh in in june and uh and how to introduce ourselves and uh, let them know that uh that uh what we had to offer as a community and and uh, now they're they're up here tonight, and uh, and uh, we've got the uh, the players on the ice, so we're showing them what the experience could be like, and uh, looking forward to further conversations with them. Now, putting on a showcase like this is never easy. What has been one of the hardest parts for you guys? Well, there are, there are, there are certainly challenges anytime that you uh, kind of stretch the capacities of a, of a of a building a facility. So, um, you know, there's been some items that we've had to. Uh, work with the the staff, the arena staff. They've been they've been great working with us to uh, allow us to bring this many people in and uh, bring the you know the food and beverage and all of the all of the extra features that we got in here tonight. But but uh, you know it's all pulled together real nicely. You guys have been working very hard to make this happen. What has been one of the easiest things that you guys have been lucky with in order to get this to happen as well? Well, you know, luckily we've got a fantastic business community here that's really got behind us. So they've they've helped us out with all uh, all the services that we need and sponsorship uh, agreements uh, and our our volunteer base uh, that's uh, walking around here in these uh, green jerseys. You'll see um, you, they've really stepped up to the plate too. You just take a look around this arena. There's so many people in here tonight. What are your first impressions about the support from the community and the overall presentation of the night? Well, it just really reinforces that we are we are a hockey town here, and I see multiple generations of hockey when I look around here, and uh, I know that how excited uh, the community has been talking about this. It's just great to see them actually in the building here. No, I spoke with Rick Hopper a month ago. He's been an integral part of making this happen as well. And he was saying that since the very beginning, the community has been all on board and making this happen. How many signatures did you guys get when you guys went out asking for support? Yeah, we in the springtime, we said, well, you know, we, we, uh, we think this is a good idea. Let's find out what the community says. So we, uh, we, we set up a... Uh, set up a table and over the course of a few hours on a weekend we got over 1300 signatures of support from uh, from the locals saying yeah go for it we want it now any successful junior hockey team relies on the support of the volunteer group you spoke about it already but just talk to me about how important the volunteers have been for you guys yeah they're, they're really the key component of this uh, nothing like this goes on without a uh, a great 
feedback from the uh, from the chipping in from the uh, grassroots and the volunteer group. Have you guys thought about a potential name for your team yet, or any potential uniform designs? And well, there has been lots of chatter about that. I'll tell you, the uh, with the enthusiasm from the public, we're going to go to the public and we're going to ask what they think, and uh, and then we'll we'll come up with what the what the best name is of the group here. Uh, we will always be. Uh, working closely with the local minor hockey association uh, because when you look around here <clears throat> you see blues everywhere you look um, and uh, and there's a long legacy of hockey in this community so we want to remain tied to that but uh, yeah the naming is going to be another fun part of this venture for sure I was asked this question by a Wolfpack fan before we made this trip will, will they be called the Sunshine Coast Gibsons or Seashell <laughs> that's another million dollar question that's good I uh I, um, we are going to be definitely our hockey community is across the the lower the lower Sunshine Coast uh, the the stretch uh, that uh, we the minor hockey services the whole lower Sunshine Coast have but we will be looking at this arena as our home base uh, so we'll be playing our games here in Gibson um, yeah so uh, we're we're looking forward to feedback from the community on that and see what they want uh, because the community is what's going to make this great there you know there are our, uh, our fan base is going to be what makes this a unique experience for the players and the teams to come up here and play in front of a packed house like this every time. Now, we've talked a lot about what's been happening off the ice, but let's talk about the two teams on the ice. How did you think that first period has gone? Oh, it's very entertaining. I mean, it's great to see goals being scored. Uh, you know, I, I know that, uh, that everybody here was looking forward to some real top-level hockey. And uh, when I'm here and got people ch chatter and they're they're thrilled about this, so it's uh, it's great. We're real happy. Everything seems to be going well hockey-wise, but we should mention this as well. The Sunshine Coast declaring a state of emergency a week ago. As a resident of the Sunshine Coast, how has that impacted you? Well, this is we. You know, uh, drinking water is definitely something that is on uh, not only in the Sunshine Coast mind, but it's something that's on the mind of a lot of people around here. It's it's definitely front and center for us. It has been for a number of years, and uh, I know there's a lot of energy gone into a solution. And uh, you know, we we look forward to uh, to it to a day when we've. Uh, you know when we can move past that but uh, in the meantime uh, it never hurts to be conscious of how much water you're drinking so uh, we've managed to keep uh, keep going here uh, down in Lower Gibson's but uh, and we're really welcoming the rainfall that's on the horizon that's for sure one more game on the schedule after tonight how much are you looking forward to tomorrow uh, you know tomorrow afternoon's contest is going to be hotly because especially if we keep with a close game like this uh, it's just it couldn't have drawn it up any better uh, we're clo getting close to uh, uh, selling out so I expect we're going to have a packed barn again tomorrow afternoon and uh, I'm really really looking forward to that. Stu Frizzell, the president of the SCJHS, my guest here during the first intermission. Stu, thank you very much. I can surely see how excited the community is. The turnout here tonight is fantastic, and the work that you guys have put in, you and Rick, amongst everybody else, is truly impressive. Thank you very much for joining me, and best of luck. Hey, John Carlo, thank you very much for having me on. Appreciate it.